Good morning, graduate nurses. My name is Amy Lemire, and I'm the administrative assistant for the nursing program. And on behalf of Dr. Duncan Harris, our CEO, Deans Maya LaPierre, Sap Scapatici, and Miranda, faculty, family, we welcome you to Nurse Pinning. We could not have asked for a better day. You guys can sit and relax. 14 months of a pandemic and these students persevered. They are graduating with their nursing degree and we couldn't be more proud. I'm sure all of their family and friends are proud as well. At this time, I'm gonna ask Dr. Kristen Gaida to come and discuss the history of pinning. Kristen. Welcome everyone, congratulations. The nursing pin is a symbol with a rich history dating back to the Maltese cross. The Crusaders wore the cross as a symbol of service to Christianity. Those who wore it were given large Maltese crosses to wear on the battlefields as they cared for the injured and ill. Over the centuries, various symbols represented service to a ruler or to the community. As a result of Florence Nightingale's influence, the importance of nurses' training was recognized and hospitals began developing programs. The Nightingale School of Nursing at St. Thomas Hospital in London designed and awarded a badge with a Maltese cross to the nurses as they completed their program. By 1916, a ceremony awarding the badges was a tradition in England and the United States. The badge symbolized educated women who were prepared to serve the health needs of society. Eventually, each school of nursing designed and awarded a customized pin. In the United States, the first pin presented to a graduating class occurred at Bellevue Hospital in New York City in 1880. The pin featured a crane in the Center for Vigilance. This center relief is encircled by a band of blue for constancy and an outer band of red for mercy in relief of suffering. The nursing pin and accompanying ceremony represented a meaningful experience for nursing students. It symbolized the completion of educational requirements that enabled nurses to sit for the state licensure examination and then practice nursing. It also signifies membership in a proud and loyal society of nurses. Thank you. Thank you, Kristen. Next is Dr. Harris, our CEO, and he will offer his greetings to the nursing graduates. Class of 2021. All right. You know we bought ponchos just in case for today. And so, uh, but some people say that the sun always shines on Capital Community College. And I think that that's indeed what's going on today. And I have to say that you guys are a once in a career class. Uh, you know, based off of, of what's transpired this past year, and it's been an amazing ride. And I have to say that as I was preparing for my remarks for today, 
I thought back to when I first met you guys. And I'm not sure if you remember in September of 2019, and in case you forgot, uh, you could take a look at the Jumbotron. Right. Now, the second thing is you guys had a really great summer, you're just coming back, and so it is now 10 o'clock. I imagine some of you guys last week might have been asleep at 10 o'clock uh, in the morning. And so the next line is, I'm awake. I'm awake. Right? And then the, the last thing, and the thing that this is especially appropriate for nursing students, is that there'll be a lot of times when, you know, it's late, it's 12, it's 1. You forgot or didn't memorize what some phone is or whatever you guys do, what it's supposed to be, right? And there is a thing with speaking things into the beat, like power of the mind, positive self thought, right? Uh, and it's I'm energized. Right? So even if you're not, sometimes you can say that I'm energized. And things that are important, like studying for your exams or whatever, will. Cool. So, so I'm um, in So I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. Now, the other thing that they did, right, was that they, to top it off, there was two claps. So now, I want you guys to give us the thing, right? We're going to, I'm alive, I'm awake, I'm energized, for the video, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going to do this again next year, right? Yes. And all of you guys going to be here? Yes. Are all of you guys going to be there? Yes. You guys remember that? And so for the folks that couldn't hear, you know, that was the first time I met the class and we were just starting. I was trying to give them some words of encouragement, but also caution about the journey that they were embarking on and how rigorous the program was. And I spoke with Dr. Bunting uh, a little bit earlier this week. And unfortunately, not everybody made it. Right. And I'd imagine that you guys can think about some of your classmates that that aren't here today. But I have to say that I am so very proud of all of you sitting between second and third base. You don't know what you look like to me. And that two years later, you're sitting at Yard Goat Stadium receiving your nursing degrees. And so I'm just so proud and, and, and happy for you all. I'm going to give you a woo! <laughs> all right. And what I will do and ask of you is to join me in acknowledging and thanking your faculty and staff that did what was necessary to see this class through. And so could you join me in a round of applause for the faculty and staff? You guys really don't know all the emails and all the, the worry and, and clinicals and PPE. And I just wanted to, to salute our faculty and Dr. Bunting and the leadership and Dr. LaPierre Dreger to make sure that you guys could be here today. And then the other thing that I would ask of you uh, that I know to be true is that you didn't get here by yourself. And if you think you did, you're lying. And I, could, I know that from my understanding that one of the, the key factors that uh, research suggests results in students completing and graduate, graduating is the existence of a strong support person. And so I'd ask you to acknowledge that strong support person who I'd imagine might be in the stands or some of them. And so could you join me in a round of applause for the strong support people? that got you here today. And so I will be taking my seat. You'll hear from me a lot today. This is the first of, of two ceremonies. But once again, just know how proud I am of all of you. I know that the obstacles that you've overcome 
and I'm just honored to be celebrating this day with you all. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Harris. Next, we ask Dr. Maya LaPierre to come up and offer greetings on behalf of her office, Academic and Student Affairs. Hello, graduates. You must be very excited. A few of you are. <laughs> So as you know, today we'll be honoring students who are graduating from the Capital Community College Nursing Program. This is an incredible accomplishment since our nationally accredited program is well regarded throughout the state for its high quality instruction and rigor and its proven record of success that spans more than 40 years. Graduates, the pins you have received and you will receive in the next few minutes signify that you have completed and identified learning outcomes to become a registered nurse. In particular, you've demonstrated the six core values that are foundational for the practice of nursing. Critical thinking, safe and competent practice, caring, professionalism, communication, and holistic care. You've demonstrated competency in specialty clinical skills, You've participated as active members in healthcare systems. You've learned to apply legal and ethical considerations to healthcare practice. And finally, now you're eligible to sit for the NCLEX. Yeah, they know how big a deal that is. Receiving your nursing pin is an honor that you and your family should be incredibly proud of. Before I go, I'd like to leave you with something to ponder from Vincent Van Gogh. He said, your profession is not what brings home a paycheck. Your profession is what you were put here on earth to do with such passion and such intensity that it becomes spiritual in calling. Nursing is a calling. It takes a really special person with a passion and dedication to something bigger than yourselves, especially in the post-COVID world that we now find ourselves in. Congratulations to our graduates and PIN recipients. I wish you well as you follow your calling to become nurses. Congratulations, everyone. Jason Scapatici put all of this together with a lot of his team. He works, is the Associate Dean of Student Affairs, and he's going to join now and offer his greetings on behalf of his office. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Amy. Good morning, students. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, to address you. So uh, some of you are certainly aware, uh, I've talked to some of you about this. Uh, my mother is a graduate of Capital Community College's nursing program. Uh, back when she graduated, though, it was called Greater Hartford Community College. Um, and so I actually called her last night, and I told her that I'd be speaking at the nursing pinning uh, today. And she said, oh, that's, that's great, Jason. And I said, you know, did you ever have the opportunity to meet the uh, dean or the associate dean of student affairs when you were there? And she said, I suppose I did, but they certainly didn't make an impression. Uh, so, uh, she advised me to keep my words brief as a result. Um, but uh, seriously, uh, I met at the uh, nursing honors uh, uh, ceremony the other night, uh, one of our nursing graduates, and uh, she was graduating from the program along with her husband. Uh, so that was two nurses in that household, which I found quite remarkable. Having grown up in a household with one nurse, uh, I thought that's truly impressive. And, um, and also that is going to be a well-run household um, because nurses certainly know uh, how to keep things in order, at least in my experience. So students, um, I wanted to extend congratulations, not just from my office, 
but from all the offices that I have the pleasure of representing. As my mom said to me on the phone last night, uh, she said, while I may not remember the Dean of Students, I do remember the woman who registered me every semester. I remember the financial aid officer who got me money so that I graduated debt free. I remember the first person I met at admissions when I was a nervous college student. And so on behalf of all of those offices, I want to extend congratulations. We are all incredibly proud of you uh, and we wish you the best of luck in your future. Thank you, Jason. And now I ask Dr. Don Bunting, the Director of Nursing, to come up to the podium and speak to the class. I think so. Welcome, Dr. Harris, Dr. LaPierre Drager, Dean Scapatici and Miranda, nursing faculty, families, friends, and especially the class of 2021. Although earlier this year, we did not think that we would be able to hold the ceremony today, it is a privilege to have the opportunity to be able to share this long-held nursing tradition with you all here this morning. When you walked into the 11th floor auditorium two years ago to attend nursing orientation, you were filled with excitement, anticipation, and a strong case of anxiety about the journey ahead of you. Over the first semester and a half, you incurred many challenges, faced many sleepless nights, laughed and cried, and juggled more than you thought humanly possible. That was until March 2020, when suddenly, confronting with a looming healthcare crisis, we took a sudden left turn into the world of virtual learning and technology programs we were forced to use. As your classmate Brett said the other night, we seemingly overnight entered the world of WebEx, Swift River, Blackboard Collaborate, ATI Real Life, and ExamSoft. Returning from spring break was not easy and brought further challenges and stressors to both your personal life, your health, and your studies, as well as a physical disconnect from your family and friends. COVID-19 has transformed nursing education forever. Nationally and across the world, you are the first class to be educated for almost three quarters of your educational journey through primarily a virtual world. And this will be written in the history books that you will share for generations to come. No one before you, except perhaps my grandmother, who was in nursing school in 1917 and found herself too in the midst of the last major pandemic over a hundred years ago, has entered the profession in quite this way. No doubt there'll be continued challenges but there are good things that will come as a result of this pandemic, both in nursing education and healthcare. We will most certainly adapt the positive outcomes of this experience going forward, such as increasing our use of simulation learning and the practice of telehealth medicine. However, according to the recently released Future of Nursing report, 2020 to 2030, it is noted the COVID-19 pandemic has revealed deep chasms within an already fragmented U.S. healthcare system, resulting in significant excess mortality and morbidity and glaring health inequities. 
It is the nursing profession that must become vested in addressing the social determinants of health and health inequities to ensure that all people have what they need to live their healthiest lives. For all of you graduates here today, your lives have been changed in significant ways as a result of this program, and most certainly by the events of the last year. Despite those challenges, you have demonstrated persistence, displayed resilience, and found the determination to achieve the goal that was once your dream, to become a graduate nurse. Everyone here this afternoon celebrates your achievements and honors your success. However, this is not the end. It is really the beginning of what will hopefully be a long and rewarding career. You are about to make the transition from graduate nurse to being a professional registered nurse in the most uncertain of times. With that distinction of being a licensed registered nurse comes responsibility, as well as being part of a highly regarded group. For over 17 consecutive years, nurses have been rated by the public as the most honest and ethical profession. Now today, nurses all over the world are being cast as heroes, and there is constant recognition of the valuable contributions that they make each day. According to the American Nurses Association, we are charged with the commitment to protect, promote, and improve healthcare for the nation. According to the president of ANA, and I quote, because of nurses' wide-ranging roles and our sheer numbers, over four million, we are well positioned to identify and solve many of the public health problems in the course of providing individual care to our patients and families. On a daily basis, in all types of settings, you will be caring for the most fragile of our population from birth to death. It is at this time that they give their trust to the nurse. Patients trust us to treat them with dignity, respect, to advocate for them, and to comfort them. Certainly, this pandemic has shown that nurses have played a key role in comforting patients who have been isolated due to this healthcare crisis. As you care for your patients, realize you have been given the great privilege of sharing the most intimate and vulnerable aspects of their lives. As you take the Nightingale Pledge and begin your career, take this responsibility seriously and consider the powerful impact you will have on the lives of others. Nothing is more rewarding than knowing you can make a difference in someone's lives and in our communities. In the famous words of Maya Angelou, I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. On behalf of all the faculty and staff and administration, we wish you all the best as you go forward. May your careers be filled with much happiness and success. Please remember to keep in touch and let us know how you are doing. We know you will do wonderful things. Congratulations, class of 2021 nursing graduates. You did it. <laughs> Knock the thing over. Now Kristen Guida will come up and offer the faculty address. Good morning. Welcome, Dr. Harris, Dr. LaPierre Drager, uh, Dean Scapatici, uh, Dr. Eddie Miranda, Dr. Dong Bunting, faculty, graduates, and family members. It is truly an honor to be here with you all today. My name is Dr. Kristen Marie Guida. 
I am an associate professor of nursing here at Capital Community College, and I am a proud graduate and nursing alumni. I can vividly remember sitting in your seats in what seems like a lifetime ago. It is an amazing feeling and brings a sense of accomplishment and one that you should all be so very proud of to finally be done with nursing school and to have done so in the midst of a pandemic. I commend you on all your efforts. This is a journey that you did not travel alone. I have told you all, for those that have completed this program with spouses and children, that you are my heroes. When I was in nursing school in the dark ages, um, I had a houseplant and a boyfriend. Guess which one survived? Just kidding. Uh, the houseplant died. The boyfriend went on to become my husband. Um, you should all take pause and thank those that have supported you along the way. It truly takes a village. These two years have gone by in the blink of an eye. Along the way, there are qualities that we have worked so hard to instill in you. Honesty, critical thinking, safety, possessing a non-judgmental attitude, practicing kindness and compassion, comforting someone during their darkest time, or helping a family welcome a new baby into the world. We want you to carry these qualities forward with you as you embark on your careers as a registered nurse. Remember, we are the most trusted profession. We have truly made history fighting this pande pandemic on the front lines, and it looks like we are on the cusp of winning the battle. As we prepare to set you all free to fly and prepare you all to embark on your own journeys, always remember why you became a nurse, and that is to make a difference in someone else's life. Please remember how important it is to give back to those that are less fortunate. If at all during your careers you're able to volunteer your time, I highly encourage it. It is one of the most selfless and rewarding things that you could ever do. Every October, I personally volunteer on a medical mission where I donate my time to rural Haiti. Um, I go as a nurse practitioner and I provide primary care to the residents in an extremely remote location. The Capital Community College nursing program is highly regarded in the state of Connecticut. Time and again, I hear employers say that once I see that a registered nurse is a capital grad and they have the proper qualifications, we hire them. Remember that Capital Community College is opening the door for you to continue on in your education. As a nurse, we make the commitment to lifelong learning and it certainly does not stop here. Remember, the sky's the limit. Go forth, do good things, and give back to the community and make us all proud. You are the 44th graduating class from Capital Community College. Our first class started in 1975 and graduated in 1977. We now welcome you to the ranks of nursing alumni. We have formed a new nursing alumni association that Professor Nyas and myself will be co-chairing. Some of you have already found us on Facebook. Please be sure to seek us out and join. Our goal is to network and engage each other. Our CCC website is currently under construction, but when it is up and available, we will have information there populated for you. At this time, I'd now like to invite Dr. Duncan Harris to come up to the podium. Thank you. We gotta, we gotta go this way, right, first? We go this way first? Okay. So I'm pleased to share that, uh, you know, as, as uh, Dr. Guida mentioned, 
that we've decided to really organize our, our nursing alumni. And they'd been asking us, you know, what's going on? How can we be helpful? Uh, we'd like to give back. The program has given so much to us. How are, you know, our classmates doing, et cetera. And they asked to, for us to start a fund for scholarships and equipment for the program. And Dr. Gaida, who is a generous soul, agreed to launch the fund and not to be outdone by Dr. Gaida. Dr. Harris and his family decided to step up as well. And we're pleased to share that we are launching the fund this year with a big check of $30,000, right? And I'm gonna have to get a part-time job, but you guys are worth it. And, uh, but in all seriousness, this is a, a commitment that we've made over the next three years to launch the fund. And we'll be asking you all to contribute. And that might be $5. It might be a Saturday you decide to do a little OT to give back to your college. I heard that nurses work three days a week and they're off a lot. And so, uh, you know, but in all seriousness, it's about giving back and things you give to things that matter. And so I wanted to thank the Guida family for uh, launching this along with the Harris family. And so you'll be hearing from us. Thank you so much. Okay, now for the reason we're here, to have students come up to the podium and be congratulated by Dr. Bunting. Please um, maintain your spacing. You're gonna go from second base first, but come this way and come down. Dr. Where are you? You're gonna come down. No, she brought him this way. Oh, geez, okay. Do you want I'm just gonna say something. Uh, due to COVID-19 pandemic and social distancing, the students did receive their pins in person during their last week of classes. And we are just formally congratulating them and offering a flower of appreciation. Abeyome Ukamaka. Andrea Karen Adams. Can I say it okay? Arnold Adatsi. <laughs> Asante Boteng. Congratulations. Lizette Berrios. Congratulations. Shashila Bandari. Congratulations. Yeah. Tamisha Nicole Bolin. Crystal Erica Buckley. Yeah, take your card. Take it, her card. Crystal Marissa Carey. Congratulations. Jennifer Carano. Congratulations. Vincent N. Carrera. Congratulations. Matthew Thomas Chattel. Tanya Chavez. Lorong Chen, congratulations. Shalela Estefanos, is that it? Bob Cortez, 
Brenna Catherine Courier. Elizabeth E. D'Onofrio. Janelle Daly. Charlene Cassie Daleslin. Congratulations. Rebecca Allison Deary. Genevieve Devon. Congratulations. Cecilia Ann Devine. Cecilia. Nicole Elizabeth Donspo. Congratulations. Ryan Michael Duell. Congratulations. Kayla Marie Engel. Congratulations. Isabel Yeoma Aziz, congratulations. Joyce Garcia, congratulations. Beth Giannone. Malgorzada Grebek, congratulations. Congratulations. Shanae M. Hall. Gregory Sion Hodge, congratulations. Christina Charday, Ireland. Car Carissa, Kara Carissa Jensen. Natalia Krasinski. Jennifer R. Lahu. Jennifer Lobel, here. Priscilla Lorenzo. Paulina Malkar, congratulations. Evelina Carolina Malik. Sahara M. Marine, congratulations. Emily Rose Marcoja, congratulations. Masanya Latanya Martin Edwards, congratulations. Jordan Renee Maboub. Congratulations. Okay. Leslie McNeil. Congratulations. Jean Carlos Medina. Congratulations. Patience Marisma. Patience. 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 Diane Corley Miller Francis. Zachary Aaron Miller Hill. Congratulations. Anna M. Moreno. Congratulations. Halliton Moreno. Congratulations. Tony Muntu. Tashana Rosemary Myers. Congratulations. Congratulations. Eduardo Navarro. Shannon Claire Noetzel. Allison O'Brien. Shannon Sally O'Connor. Kimberly Rose Oaks. Kimberly. Kimberly. Catherine May Oliwa. Jesse Shinyere Okori. Noir Al Najar. Brittany Lynn Pear. Justina Popilars. Congratulations. Michelle Prisco. Congratulations. Antonia Marie Reynolds. Brett Michael Reinhardt. Peter Joseph Rivera. Peter, Peter, Peter. Chelsea M. Roberts. Eva Rodriguez. Jacqueline. Jacqueline Rodriguez. Congratulations. 
Annette Ragoza. Britt Ann Rube. Moaz Salahovic. Juana Sanchez. Tiara Monet Santa. Pablo Andres Santana. Here, Pablo. Pablo. Gianni Santiago. Jacqueline Anna Scalise. Is it Jackie or Jack? Olivia Maureen Setembri. Nardia Stacy Ann Palmer. Christopher Robert Simpson. Sarah Lynn Small. Sheena Stringers. Alicia Nicole Sarajadine. Jamie Lee Nicole Thompson. Name? Anna, Anna Samokina. You need your cup. <laughs> Elizabeth Lori Townsend. Amina Turkovic. Kimberly Valley. Kristen K. Wishart. Kristen. Emily Margaret Voidula. Roshina Marie Sharain Francis. Thank you. You're welcome. Congratulations. David Joseph Suzinski. Congratulations, David. Godfred Opong. Alberta Gardy. Congratulations. Hi, Hi honey. Xenia Yolanda Forrester. And Dorothea D. Dallas. Dorothea. <laughs> Congratulations, class of 2021. Just stay here. Okay, class, this is when your program comes in handy. Everybody needs to stand up, please and you will be reciting the Nightingale Pledge with Dr. Bunting. I invite any nurses in the audience to please stand and recite the Nightingale Pledge. In the full knowledge of the obligations I am undertaking, I promise to care for the sick with all the skill and understanding I possess, without regard to race, creed, color, politics, or social status, sparing no effort to conserve life, to alleviate suffering, and to promote health. I will respect at all times the dignity and the religious belief of the patients under my care holding in confidence all personal information entrusted to me and refraining from any action which might endanger life or health. I will endeavor to keep my professional knowledge and skill at the highest level and to give loyal support and cooperation to all members of the health team. I will do my utmost to honor the international code of ethics applied to nursing and to uphold the integrity of the nurse. Congratulations. And we wish you all the very, very best. We got closing remarks. That's it for me. Yep. Okay, this concludes our pinning ceremony. Please follow uh, Jen Ackerman students as you go back to the tunnel. There are a few of you students that I contacted yesterday. I will meet you in the tunnel as well. Thank you to family and friends. Oh, wait a minute, Jen, they're gonna do a class picture, I forgot. Thank you, Dave. Dave is the best. Okay.
how are you doing? The This will be great to send that. Do they purchase that? This one, right? Do they purchase Yeah. 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 Students, this picture will be available for purchase, so um, continue to check your capital email. And the song. Thank you, family and friends, for attending. Congratulations to you as well.